Hi economic students, my name is Miss Lewis and right now I'm going to talk about elasticity of demand. As you already know that there is a, 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 an inverse relationship between price and demand. The more the price, the less people uh, demand and the less the, the price, the more people demand. So elasticity, uh, but how, how much more and how much less people demand? That is the idea of elasticity of demand. So elasticity generally is a measure that measures the responsiveness or the sensitivity of um, demand towards the price changes. Okay, in the case of elasticity of demand, we have five possible cases. We have perfect inelastic demand, we have a, a relative inelastic demand, we have unit elastic demand, and we have relative elastic demand plus the perfect elastic demand. Right now, let's talk about inelastic demand. And when something is inelastic, it's something that does not stretch. So here we are saying that the percentage change in the price does not affect the percentage change of demand. So, uh, and then the elasticity of, of demand of a product depends on what type of a product. So uh, products such as necessities, uh, uh, light bulbs, telephone calls for businesses, gasolines, they fall under the inelastic demand because People, no matter what price goes up, people still demand the same quantity of those goods. Eh? For gasoline, who, who would want to drive a car without gasoline? So obviously, even if the price goes up, people still demand the same amount of gasoline. And um, uh, just to, to compare the cases, you can look at the graphs here. We are saying here, yeah, this is the price. And if the price chooses to go up like this, still the demand will stay the same. The demand stays the same. And then we're looking at the relative inelastics. We are saying that with re uh, relative inelastic demand, if the price goes up, there will be a slight change in the demand. Just the slight change. That's why we are saying the coefficients of this um, demand is less than one. Okay, the coefficients, to calculate the coefficients, we are saying the change in quantity, or let me say the, uh, the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price, that will give you the coefficients of the, 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 the demand. And then unitary elastic demand. When you are talking about unitary uh, uh, elastic demand, this one we are saying that if the price goes up, or let me say the percentage change in the price um, is equal to the percentage change in demand. So if the price goes up with 20%, meaning that there will be a 20% fall in the quantity demanded. While the relative elastic demand, we are saying that the coefficient is greater than 1. So the relative elastic demand, elastic demand that here this, uh, re people are responding to what the price changes. If the price goes up, there is a, a sensitive reaction to what that price changes. So here we are saying that the percentage change in price is... Uh, or let me say the percentage change in quantity demanded is greater than the percentage change in price. So this one is applicable to products, those products that are not necessity, or we can say the products that have, um, uh, they are actual products, such as TV, refrigerator, Coke, Pepsi, and there's those products, they also have um, substitutes. Perfect elastic demand. We are saying that the coefficient is infinity, meaning that there is a greater change between the price changes and the price, I mean the percentage change in the quantity demanded. So if you look at the cases here, they are well represented by graphs. This one is a perfect inelastic uh, demand where we are saying the price, if the price changes, quantity demanded uh, uh, remains the same. Why in the uh, relative inelastic demand, we are saying that there is a slight change between the quantity demanded and the price changes. So if the price goes up, there will be a slight change. You see the line is not straight, but a bit skew. Why in the unitary elastic, we are saying that 20% increase in the price results in a 20% fall in the quantity demanded. Relatively elastic, we are saying that the ED is greater than one, meaning that if the price goes up, there will be a, 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 a a greater change in the quantity demanded. Why? With the perfect elasticity, we are saying that in the perfect elasticity, the demand or the quantity demanded is not determined by the price changes. So if the price stays the same here, let's, let's assume here this is $25, and then still the, uh, the quantity demands will just change. It does not depend on how much the price changes. Okay, that is all about elasticity demand. As we know that in the law of demand, we are saying that the higher the price, the lower the people demand for the goods, and the lower the price, the more people demand 
for the goods and services, but how less and how more. That is the idea of elasticity and demand.